it is my turn to present a course entitled Math-Based Course for Undergraduated. The material of this course has been prepared by three professors of mathematics at the Faculty of Science and Technology of the University of the Basque Country, Iker Malaina, Luis Martinez and myself, Leire Legarreta. First of all, I would like to mention that the course is designed for undergraduate in the first years of a degree in science, especially in the first years of a degree in mathematics. The main objective of the course is to understand and to use properly abstract uh, language and mathematical structures. We want the student to learn basic elements and tools of algebra structure and how to use mathematic language involved in them, as well as techniques for proving and solving problems. In terms of learning activities to reach this uh, objective, we ask the student to focus on self-study and exercise and problem solving. Let us move to describe briefly the sketch of the program. First of all, we are going to describe a preliminary section about mathematical language where some useful symbols in mathematics and mathematics proofs will be described. After, we will divide this material in eight subjects. The first one will be related to set theory, where equivalence and order relation will be introduced. In the second subject, we will work with complex numbers, especially with operation and solution of polynomial inequations. In number three, we will focus on functions, to be more precise on different types of functions and in inverse uh, function and composition of functions. In number four, the integer numbers will play a very important role and in this subject we will work with the Euclidean algorithm and finally with the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. In number five, we will introduce the concept of congruences and we will work with linear congruences and especially with the Chinese reminder theory. About number six and seven, these two subjects are related to polynomials. In then we will work with the divisibility, with the Euclidean algorithm, the factorization and also with some classical inequations. Finally, in number eight, we will work with elementary linear algebra. After defining what a matrix is, we will describe the rank, the determinant, and also we will work with systems of linear equations. To finish with my presentation, let me introduce this picture about some algebraic numbers in the complex plane. You can observe that the unit circle is represented by black dots. Using polynomials, with integers uh, um, coefficients between minus 5 and 5, then we can describe the degree of some algebraic numbers with different colors. For example, the color blue represents the degree 4 of some of these numbers, and the color red will be represent the second degree of some algebraic numbers.